here from the Perbet School. I'm the head of art and photography. So I thought I'd talk you through how your child is assessed and how they can revise for their GCSE art projects. Um, so both sketchbooks and artworks are graded so students can benefit from their written work as well as their art work. Um, this course is 100% coursework based so everything that's done in homework time and class time is directly impacting their grade. And we use OCR's assessment objectives of develop, explore, record and present to mark a subjective subject um, and apply uh, those four quadrants, those four areas to that to even out the marks and to enable those students who can reflect critically on their work to benefit as well as those who are technically proficient and the idea would be that they are all of the above. Now students will produce two sketchbooks and two final pieces um, in a 60% module and a 40% module equating to 100% of their grade. Of revision for this subject students cannot revise instead they should be producing homework and completing classwork tasks to maximize their grade. Now we advise that for every hour of lesson they should be producing an hour of home learning work and that could be anything from the following list. So they could produce a double sketchbook page so we require a double sketchbook page per week to document their making process to evidence what they've been exploring the materials they've been trying or the artists that they've been looking into. They could make artwork this could be copies of artists work or making their own pieces photo shoots to inspire their own artworks. If they are doing portraiture, for example, they might have a friend or family member pose and they can take different photos of different positions to be able to then work from. Um, these must be as skilled as their art uh, because they are marked in terms of every visual element that's within their project. So if their photography is below par in comparison to their technical artwork, uh, that will impact their grade. So the photos must be highly skilled. They can come and use the department and use the cameras to do so. Writing about their own work, so we provide guidance sheets to the students and they should use these to reflect critically upon their own practice. Creating research analysis pages about artists to inspire their projects moving forward. Initially, we give students the specific artists that they need to look at and then they can progress onwards to select from a list that is generated by us and push even further to select that own. So they should use the guidance sheet provided to analyse and critically reflect on these artists and build plans for what they're going to make next. They could conduct further visual research to help inspire their ideas. This can be in a more loose format, so it could be in terms of Instagram or YouTube, or it may be something more formal um, in terms of gallery visits, listening to podcasts or accessing gallery websites. OK, I've suggested to follow hashtag GCSE art on Instagram if they have access to it so they can see what other students are producing in other schools. could your child do to extend their revision or their homework in our case a little bit further uh, they could create further artworks to practice their technical skills so they could push past the artworks that they've been asked to produce in class and produce more outside of the classroom they could watch youtube tutorials for new processes or editing techniques if they have any particular ideas that they want to sample before coming to lesson before seeking expert advice they could watch youtube tutorials um, and try some of those techniques out email any images of uh, or type to work to our arts technician for printing. So our lovely technician is available during lesson time to print student artwork and return it to them straight away. We can be even more productive than that. If students email it over beforehand, it can be ready for the lesson. Uh, they could also email their teachers asking them to prepare materials or surfaces if they know that they want to work on a canvas, if they know they want to work on a board, if they know that they want acrylic paint um, or some sort of 3D products, they could have this ready for them if they let the arts technician know or their teacher know prior, that would be amazing. Child gain further support. They can come and see their subject teacher, so the specific teacher uh, that has their art class, they can visit them during uh, break times or lunch times, before school, after school. They could attend after school art club on a Wednesday. There is um, a key stage four catch up club to enable students to benefit in terms of having a bit of space and having studio time and having the materials. And they could email staff um, at the below addresses. So you have myself as head of art and photography, and then Mrs. Chengadu as a teacher of art, Mrs. Bailey as a teacher of art, and then Miss Looms, our art technician, which we've previously mentioned. So we are always here for supporting students anytime, anything that they need. They just need to let us know, and we will have that prepared and ready for them. Thank you.